Hey everybody, and welcome to McD Plays DuckTales Remastered. This is the recently released remake of the classic action platformer developed by Capcom for the NES. The remastered version is developed by WayForward and is currently available on Steam, XBLA, PSN, and the Wii U Shop for $15. We're going to go ahead and start a new game on hard, but before we do so, I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up. This game has quite a bit of cutscenes, but I've decided not to omit them. Mainly, my reasoning is, you know, from my understanding, WayForward took the original game, and they pretty much added a plot to it. I did, from what I recall, there really wasn't much of a plot in the original game besides get the money, get the money, and get the money. I mean, that's don't get me wrong, that still holds true for this game as well, but there's still a little bit more that I think they threw in there. Um, and uh, also, to my, to my knowledge, uh, they pretty much took every level in the game, and they made it uh, almost a standalone episode of the animated series. So that's how I'm going to handle this Let's Play. I'm just going to go through and probably do one level per episode, and we'll just go from there. So let's go ahead and boot it up. And I am not going to speak during these cutscenes, so you can actually enjoy that. Me, Hilt. Me money bin alarm. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall uh, <clears throat> get her in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth, hurry! The pedal is to the middle, Mr. McDuck. Oh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. So we're going to be starting in a brand new level that was developed for the remake. It's Scrooge's Money Bin, and you can just automatically tell that you know, WayForward did a great job with the character animations. They also had, uh, I believe with the help of Disney... Oh, hold on. Right, my boy. Yeah, but you better watch out. The Beagle Boys mess with your security system. <laughs> yeah, we take over the whole place. Yeah, <laughs> me money. Hey, don't forget about me, Uncle Scrooge. Eh? Oh, 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 oh! Don't worry, lad. I'll save you. Pro move. And by pro, I mean the usual. Mama, be so proud. Oh, 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 now that's what I call a stomachache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. We? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here, too. You better hurry, Uncle Scrooge. They might be in trouble. So as I was saying earlier, you can really tell that they did a great job with the, uh, you know, the uh, the cell animation of, of the characters. And with the help of Disney, they got back a lot of the um, the original voices, which is cool. So we've, there's that. Uh, I will also be letting you guys know there's tons of secrets in this game. I don't know every single one. I'm just going to be doing my best to collect as much money as possible because I am a greedy fuck, just like McDuck. So well, let's continue onward up here. Also, if you didn't play the original version, same attack, the pogo jump. That's pretty much how you attack your enemies, open up chests, all that cool jazz. So, do this. I really do want to collect as much treasure as possible because there are collectibles um, that you can purchase in the game. I'll probably show you those after this episode. Um, so, you, it does require a lot of money, so... Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get these real quick before they disappear. Pop up here. There we go. Take that, Beagle Boy. Oh, okay. Push this over here with the cane whack. Alright. Hey, kid! You got a sandwich or something? Not even for an afternoon snack. Big time in trouble, man. 
Get away from him, you gluttonous goon. Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. The nicknames in this game. Ridiculous. <laughs> you saved me, Uncle Scrooge! Aye, I did. Are you hurt, lad? Now, I'm fine, but I saw Louie heading up the stairs with about a thousand people boys right behind him. Stay here. I'll handle this. Okay. What I tell you, there's quite a bit of cutscenes. More so in the intro stage, just to get the character or the player familiar with, you know, the plot and the controls. So, heading through here. Migraines upon migraines. You know, from what I remember, there was only four Beagle Boys in the show. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I just remember those those four guys. I don't know where all of these other Beagle Boys are coming from. I don't know if M Magicka and all those guys decided, hey, we're just going to clone all these guys, or if the Beagle Boys sexually reproduce. It, no idea. So I'm just going to go with it and pretty much smash in the brains of everyone I come across. Uh, is there a secret over here? Yep, there is. So get all this glorious treasure and an ice cream cone on top of it. Hit down this one. There we go. Hop up. Peace. Okay. Down. Whoop. Ah, Jesus. Go, 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 go. Hurry up, the Scrooge! They're headed for your office! Hold on, lad. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, Red Top. We're running things around here now. Curse me, Kilt. One false move and I'm a roast duck. Leave me, the Scrooge! It's not worth it! <laughs> Nonsense, my boy. Alright, so... A little careful timing right here. I believe on hard there's only five hearts that you can obtain. So I'm going to try to not F this up at all because I don't want to have to restart a level for you guys. Alright, I believe we're coming up to the first boss. I think they did a good job with remaking the original bosses. Uh, the one gripe that I have personally is that the original game, it only took maybe three hits for a boss. I think they jacked it up to five, maybe seven for some bosses, so it can get a little repetitive, but oh well. Oh, one up, and here we go, at the boss. Step away from me, Fortune, you crook. Not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. All right, he's wearing a helmet, so obviously the pogo jump ain't gonna work. Got to figure out another way. Oh, okay. So we'll just cane hit that globe, hit the vault, jump on his head. Okay. You're safe. Is securely suspended. Uh, the boss music uh, is is really good too, and, and faithful to the original. It, it's I like the 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 grandiose fanfare that they have going on. So yeah, I think this guy's gonna take five hits. No sweat. We're we're taking care of him. He is the intro boss after all, so he shouldn't be too difficult. Everything's ready. And this should do it. Curse you, muck duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! Yeah, good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable... It's magic. Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys! What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. 
Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Science. Science again. Brickadoon! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look! One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one buried ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. Dum dum dum. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. Alright, so there you have it, the intro stage, and pretty much the plot laid out right in front of us. All the original levels are back, you know, the moon, the mines, Amazon, that's going to be our base of operations, selecting what one we want to go to. I'll probably just do it in order. Um, before I let you guys go, I'm just going to show you a couple things. This is the uh, art room, art exhibit, I don't know what you want to call it, but this is where all the money that you accumulate, you can spend it by purchasing, you know, cell animation, art, uh, just, you know, of the characters, they have pencil renderings, they have TV show art, which I love, you know, it just adds that extra little bit of nostalgia factor. Um, and they also have music. The, the music, if I can get to it, geez, the music should have, I believe, yep, the remastered music and the 8-bit music. And I think after you beat the game once, maybe it's available right off uh, from the get-go, you can listen to the original 8-bit music, which is nice. So, there's that. Nice little incentive to keep playing the game over and over again, since it is kind of short. And this is the last thing that I wanted to show you. It's a little touch that WayForward added that I don't believe serves a purpose, but just, man, it, <laughs> it makes me really happy. Why wouldn't you like this? <laughs> I mean, come on. So, yep. That's about it. I think that's where we're going to wrap it up today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be starting next time on the Amazon. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.